Hi there beautiful souls and welcome to the channel. I'm here with another pick a card reading for you. Before I get started I would like to say a massive thank you for being here watching. Big welcome to anyone who is new here and a massive warm welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. This reading is to take a look at what your person wants to say to you. So what messages does the person on your mind have for you? These could be messages that they're afraid to speak to you. Perhaps you're in separation with somebody. Perhaps this is a crush. Okay, we're going to have a look and see what their messages are for you today. We've also got a few oracle cards for you as well. This is just a general reading. So just take what resonates for you. If you were ever interested in a personal reading, then the details to book are in my description box in the um, description box below and there is currently a 20% offer on all of my readings except the 24 hour readings you can get a three question reading or a love reading for just £24 at the moment and as I say you can book via my website or you can PayPal and email me anyway back to this reading here what does your person want to say to you three groups here we have option one with the garden option two with inner peace and option three with luminosity if you need more time please pause the video here otherwise i'm going to get started with group number one hi there group one and welcome to your reading okay let's have a look we're going to get your messages first and then we'll get your oracle cards so the first message from your person there are many lessons to learn perhaps you're learning lessons with this person perhaps there are repeated cycles with this person this person is certainly opening their eyes to lessons that can be learnt as a result of your connection though we have thank you gratitude goes a long way your person is very grateful to have you in their life or to have known you in their life to have met you i do feel for many of you you have triggered something um in regards to this person looking at patterns within their life and realizing lessons um as a result of these we have you've got this this person has a lot of faith in you. They do feel um, that you're a very empowered person and they want to empower you more is what I get you. They've got a lot of faith in you. Regain your passion for life. Perhaps this person is watching you at the moment and noticing how you are regaining your passion for life. Perhaps you are someone who is very passionate. I also feel, okay, this person is learning to regain passion in their life. Stay focused on your life. The rest will take care of itself. I do feel, okay, that there is definitely an element of um, self-sufficiency here, okay. Your person is one, don't see the Nine of Pentacles energy in my head. I feel your person is somebody who wants to have it all together, okay. Is very much focused right now on their own personal journey. Um, and I feel this is kind of a mirrored image. You are kind of doing this as well. What else do they want to say? I have never felt like this before. My love for you is like nothing I've ever experienced. Wow, definitely a very unique connection this person is feeling with you. I am not ready to face my truth. So they could be feeling this but not revealing it to you, okay? They're not quite ready to come to you with that truth, which is possibly why they're very focused right now on their own life, on that nine of pentacles of getting their coin in order, okay? I didn't, uh, sorry, I don't do feelings, but then I met you. So this person perhaps is somebody who is very focused on their career or focused perhaps on passionate side of connections, but doesn't necessarily fall easily. Okay, it has actually come under that regain your passion for life. I feel that you've struck some sort of passion within this person they've not experienced, as this card is suggesting here. Um, but it's triggered feelings for them that they're not necessarily used to dealing with. I want to reach out to you. So if you are in no contact right now, this person is considering reaching out to you. They do want to speak to you, but they're not quite ready to face that truth with you. Look to yourself for the answers you seek. This person sees you as somebody who is very intuitive. I also feel, okay, you are getting sort of um, information, okay, be it um, on social media, okay, or whether it's um, inner guidance is what I'm getting more so here, okay. I do feel there is an element of perhaps watching each other. But what I'm getting here is your inner guidance is really strong and to trust and have faith in that, okay? If things are very muddled for you right now, the advice here is to take some time out to allow your mind to be quiet. Perhaps meditation would be beneficial. Then we also have for you, I can't leave my current situation right now. This could actually speak about the, you know, the situation that we're all kind of in at the moment, unable to travel or unable to, you know, socialise like we would normally do so. 
but for many of them okay do feel there is a situation here that they are unable to leave in regards to this truth okay it could be their own fears and illusions here okay they they're kind of working through that trying to regain their passion for their own life and their own self-worth perhaps okay um in order to meet you where you're at is what i get here we have together we can achieve anything just a second so like this you've got this card okay feel this person has an awful lot of faith in you and they do feel the potential of your connection they do think that you can overcome any challenges okay oh uh, well we have i see you i see us together in our future so they do think of you as their person okay they do want a long future with you they do want um to reach their full potential is what I really get here, okay? That Nine of Pentacles keeps coming back to me. It's almost like the minor arcana version of an Empress energy. So someone who's very nurturing, okay? Someone who's really got it together, though, is the message I feel. Your person wants to be more together for you so that you can have this future together. And they do ultimately have this beautiful faith that you can overcome anything together. Your smile still haunts me. I do want to say feel there is an element of watching one another here, okay? And this could be... um. The both of you could be highly attracted to each other's smiles, okay? You could even sort of have very similar smiles to another message I'm getting here. But this person um, is triggered when they see your smile. I feel more than I am letting on. I don't feel this person has revealed the full depth of their feelings for you. You know, they're not ready to face that themselves right now. I feel this has come in all of a sudden for your person. They weren't looking for love, weren't expecting it. And here you are offering something they've never experienced before. I have to stay away for now. It's best for us both to do our own thing. And I was picking up on that energy of your person being very focused right now on themselves, on their own goals, their own journey. Um, but I feel that, as I say, it's something that you're in that energy as well. You are sort of focused on your own path right now. And if these paths happen to cross back together, which is, I feel, what you both ultimately would desire in the future, um, that would be brilliant. But I don't feel that is... Um, it's not at the forefront of both of your minds and it's not a necessity to be happy is where I get you. I got scared so I ran. I'm still running. We have been triggered. This has been a very triggering connection for the both of you. It has called for you both to go deeper within yourselves. It's possibly something neither of you have experienced before. As a result, I feel your intuition has grown, okay? Um, but also childhood wounds could have been triggered here okay this person might not be necessarily as i say someone who does feelings very easily they could be quite guarded very passionate but not necessarily in their feels overly much and you've triggered something within them okay you've let this re relit this passion within them that they didn't even know was there i want to reconcile with you i am coming back this person does want to reach out to you. They do want to come back to you. They do see a future with you. I feel right now they are, as I say, doing their own thing here, okay? But in order to gain stability so they can offer you something stable. Your last written message then is love wins, I surrender. Wow, e, that's amazing. Okay, so this person will surrender to love. They want to surrender to this love with you. So let's talk first about the garden, the card that you actually chose. This is about self-love. It is about tending to oneself. It is about nurturing yourself, your person doing the same, so that you're in a very abundant, self-loving space, so that you have a lot to offer each other is what we really have here. We also have the card dreams. You could be dreaming about your person. Your person is dreaming about you. But I feel you have a lot of dreams and goals to aspire to individually. And I feel you're very supportive of those dreams. I also feel that ultimately the end goal, although as I say it's not the only thing on either of your mind, okay, ultimately you feel that you do want to be together. You are each other's dream come true. We do have the lonely walk home here. You could be feeling very... Um, you could be feeling lonely right now. Perhaps you are feeling shut out from this person. This person is certainly feeling that energy about you. For some of you, okay, they could have um, turned their back, okay, as soon as they develop feelings here, okay. Um, like I say, it could be a very passionate connection. All of a sudden, it comes to an end as this person develops feelings because something triggered within them. They are feeling this um, loss. I do feel for many of you in this group, you are possibly in no communication or very little communication. They miss the sunshine of your energy. And your very last card is Twin Flame Vibes. So you could be dealing with your twin flame here, okay, your divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Um, 
this is also again about that inner passion you've lit within each other okay there is strong passionate energy as well as deep love within this connection your person is feeling very lonely they're possibly dreaming about you they do want to reach out to you but they're focused right now on themselves because they want to have enough to offer you when they do come forward and let you know how they feel group one so that's been your reading i hope it's been helpful do let me know in the comments below if it resonates with you in your situation and if you want to give a like share subscribe i'd really appreciate that as well and i shall see you in another reading take care bye hi there group two and welcome to your reading okay let's get some messages from your person those of you who chose the inner peace card we will look at your oracle cards in just a moment but let's get your messages first of all don't put off today what you can do tomorrow perhaps your person has been procrastinating perhaps this is someone that you have been waiting on for a long time for some of you this is a message for you to not put your life on hold here trust in the process believe in yourself have enough faith okay that if this connection is meant to be it will be as a message i get here i feel that your person is learning to have that faith as well you're on the right path beautiful you are on the right path okay the inner peace the fact that you chose the inner peace card okay you are in this peaceful loving space you do feel that you are enough is what i'm getting here and i feel this person is moving into that energy as well we have reach for the stars and chase your dreams I feel you and your person are very independent people, okay? You might have a lot of dreams, a lot of goals. Your person wants you to achieve those. Your person doesn't want you to be stuck, is a message I get you. Um, they are trying to perhaps free themselves from a situation, okay? They've been procrastinating over. And I feel that they want you to hold space for them, but not necessarily wait for them. They want you to live your life, is what I really feel here. And that in itself is beautiful, because it's a sign of true love. We have become more committed to yourself and your journey. Your person is very committed to their own journey right now. And as I say, I feel this is you as well. I do feel you're in this beautiful I am enough space. You are feeling this beautiful inner peace. You are perhaps manifesting. You are chasing your dreams. You're going after your um, career goals perhaps. Okay, perhaps it's... Um, you know, the circle of people that you hang out with perhaps it's a hobby that you've really taken to the next level whatever it is for you i feel that both of you are extremely committed to your own journeys at this time let's get some more messages i'm waiting for you perhaps this person is waiting for you perhaps to achieve something they know that you're very focused on a particular goal right now and for others of you perhaps this person is waiting for you to make a move towards them we have my friends play a big part in my decisions this person could be somebody, okay, who does allow other people's opinions to play a part, okay? Perhaps they do base their self-worth on um, other people's opinions here, okay? And I feel that you are, as I say, in this very inner peace energy. You're in that space. Your person is coming into that. Realising this, okay, for them to realise that their friends play a big part, that's um, a big deal in itself for your person is what I really feel. And I do feel there is um, the realisation that they are allowing other people to influence them in some kind of way. Slowly but surely, we will get there. We also have, close to you with the carpenters, why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? You could be seeing birds, your person could be noticing these birds around, two birds in particular, and um, together, okay? Could be a sign that your person is thinking about you. But slowly but surely, they believe that you're going to get there, okay? So whether it's you achieving this personal goal, whether it's you supporting to achieve this, whether it's the both of you, I do feel that they also feel that once something has been completed for you individually, then you can have something to get there. Again, I want to say, you know, this is um, kind of linked to this inner peace is what I'm thinking. This birds does a sign of freedom. It is a sign of um, peace as well. So I do feel your person is moving into a more peaceful space. We have faithful, loyal, kind and homely and caring. This person does feel, in you know, in your energy they do feel at peace they feel as in this inner peace they feel at home with you they do feel you're a very loyal and kind and faithful person i want you so much this person definitely does want you okay um even if they're not um showing you that right now they could as I say be so focused on their own life that they don't actually have a space for anything else right now but they can't get you off their mind is what i'm getting here and they do want you and um, this could for some of you okay be somebody that perhaps you haven't taken an offer from in the past okay um with the i'm waiting for you and i want you so much here this is also passionate energy okay this person's feeling very passionate towards you i know i may never get you back 
for some of you okay this person realizes that you know maybe too much time has passed perhaps they were too focused on other areas um, I feel they do have faith in this connection but they're aware of your own sense of inner peace is what I get here okay how things are for you right now how they perceive things to be for you right now is very peaceful it's very beautiful it's very bliss and they don't know whether you're going to allow them to come back in in case it caused some sort of imbalance is what I feel there I hide my true feelings because perhaps this person isn't able to open up. Perhaps they're not able to express their feelings with ease here. And they hide more than they're actually letting on to you because they have a huge ego. Again, I was saying earlier on, okay, about this friend's decision here, okay, I feel that's a big deal for your person to admit. I feel anything um, that doesn't sort of sing to their ego is a big deal for them to admit. You could be dealing with somebody who does have that big ego here. However, they are realising it, okay, um, and they're realising that for them to have you back, for this to be... Um, something they can achieve they need to make drastic changes is what i really feel here i am sorry i hurt you this person knows they've hurt you whether it's they've pulled away from your energy okay whether it's they've just sort of shut you out not revealed their true feelings they're aware that they've hurt you i'm on the journey back to you slow and steady progress beautiful so they do want to come back okay this ego is possibly holding them up here okay and also this um friends play a big part they're really worried about what you think about them at this time is what I really get I still feel your energy I can run but I cannot hide could have have somebody here who has just ghosted you like I said just totally chose to um go a different direction okay um being very focused very cold with you okay but they still feel your energy your energy this beautiful peaceful energy that's only achieved in your company when they think of you I know this love is unique it's a very special and unique energy. It's a very special, unique connection you share with this person. This I'm being drawn back to this um, inner piece. And it actually says you are enough on the card as well. And I do feel that you both feel enough in each other's presence. You are not like anyone I have known before. You are not replaceable. This person could may well have tried to okay move on from you, gone in a different direction, chosen a different person, okay? But they're realising they can't find that feeling anywhere else this is extremely unique it isn't something that just comes about um every day for them this is something um incredibly special and unique for them and you're not replaceable your energy cannot be found elsewhere love just ain't my style but this connection isn't something i've experienced before maybe i am falling for you wow okay beautiful okay and that yeah does say about this person perhaps struggled to go a little bit deeper perhaps they weren't expecting to feel this way for you perhaps you were just friends and it's led to more here okay um but yeah they're feeling the intensity of this connection and it isn't something they've experienced before so they are well and truly out of their comfort zone which could be causing them to procrastinate with this card here Okay, so the inner peace, like I was saying, I do feel that you're in this space of inner peace. Your person feels this sense of tranquility all around you. You could enjoy spending time outdoors together. Okay, this white rose is calling out to me. I feel it's a very pure connection that you share with this person. And that snowflake as well, I feel, again, it's very unique. You're a very unique person. I did just notice 1818, so you could be noticing synchronised numbers here. Um, but yeah, very unique personality. You are not replaceable for this person. We have locked and secure. Your person isn't someone who opens up easily. They run from their feelings. They really struggle to express their true feelings. They're hiding something, okay? Um, but like I said, I do feel that your person is aware that something drastically needs to shift here. They realise that their ego is perhaps blocking their true dreams and destiny. Um, but they are still feeling very guarded. But we have the beautiful awakening and transformation. So beautiful, yeah. They've realised that, okay. They're realising things that they've never known before. They are awakening to brand new opportunities and possibilities as a result of your connection. They are transforming. Their chakras are aligning and they are lit. And we have the beautiful dance to the rhythm of life. So this is a message on both parts. I do again feel this beautiful energy you share together. Perhaps you do dance with this person. Perhaps you feel so natural and comfortable in each other's energies. It is just that like, beautiful, lush energy between you. I also feel this is a message, okay? Don't put off today what you can do tomorrow. Enjoy this journey that you're on right now, okay? Become more committed to your own journey and allow this person the time and space that they need for this transformation to occur. 
stay focused on your beautiful inner peace you are enough okay that is a loud and clear message and i feel that you know you are enough this person is awakening to that idea they definitely see strong potential with you and they have deeper feelings and they are letting on group two so that has been your reading that's what i have for you today please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you in your situation and if you want to give a like share subscribe i'd really appreciate that as well and i shall see you in another reading take care bye Hi there group three and welcome to your reading, those of you who chose luminosity. So we'll have a look at your oracle cards in just a moment. But for now, let's get your messages from your person. What do they want to say to you group three? I can't pick my cards up. We have you are my wish fulfillment, beautiful. That nine of cups energy, okay, you are this person's dream come true. You feel like home to me. We also have, I am working on being a better version of myself. I prefer to keep this casual. I didn't do feelings, then I met you. I am picking up on a similar energy that was coming through in group three, uh, sorry, group two here, okay? And the card about feelings didn't uh, actually come out in that reading as well. And the sense of feeling at home. So this person does feel definitely at home with you, okay? They are someone who doesn't really dip easily into their feelings. They're someone who perhaps likes to keep it passionate, surface level, and all of a sudden they have these feels for you. They may well have tried to keep this connection very, very casual, okay? Um, perhaps you've picked up on a deeper sense of um, feelings here than your person has let on with you, definitely. Um, but they are somebody who's trying to work on that with this being here. I feel you've inspired this person in some kind of way to become deeper to look deeper within themselves and to allow themselves to be vulnerable i need more time but this is a process for your person it isn't something that's going to happen overnight for them and they do need more time here it does say maybe we need to explore other opportunities right now so this person as i say does find you home okay they feel at home with you but it could be a little bit much for your person to deal with it could be quite overwhelming which is maybe why they want to explore other opportunities this doesn't necessarily mean other people although it could okay we have many soulmates and there could be soulmates out there for them who they need to learn lessons from in regards to this transformation perhaps they're going through okay but this also indicates perhaps career that they're looking at right now and i also feel okay that this is this person's energy is fears, okay, casual, perhaps this is somebody who does have commitment issues here, okay, so the minute they get feelings, perhaps they do both in the opposite direction. I want to communicate with you on a deeper level, but every time I try, I stumble on my words. I know this needs to be deeper than I have ever allowed myself to be before. So, yeah, definitely picking up on that. And it's come under this better version of themselves. They are aware of something that perhaps they weren't aware of in the past. They're aware this is deeper than they're allowing themselves to go. They're aware this isn't just a casual connection, okay? They're just really freaked out is what I'm getting here. They want to talk to you. They do want to explain to you what's going on, how they truly feel, okay? Um, but it isn't something that they've done on a regular basis, if ever, in their life, okay? And that is something they're really struggling with. I want union with you. That's actually come under, you know, I prefer to keep this casual. I feel this person's very, very torn. They want to maybe explore other opportunities, keep this casual, but at the same time, they feel something incredible with you and it's drawing them in, okay? That energy, this luminosity, okay? It's like that magical light is drawing them in. But yeah, they want this union with you, but they are definitely struggling with perhaps commitment issues in this particular group. I don't deserve you. And perhaps the feeling of not deserving you, okay? With that being here, perhaps this person is struggling with their own self-esteem. If this is something your person hasn't experienced before, it's throwing them out of their comfort zone and it is making them question whether they are worthy of it, okay? Um, they are trying to communicate to you on a deeper level, but as I say, it's not something that they are used to doing. And I do feel, you know, this beautiful light, you are this beautiful light energy in this person's world, okay? You are kind of like a healer, um, a healing energy to them. And it's almost like, you know, you're so wonderful, so why would you want me kind of thing? Which is, again, another reason I feel this person wants to keep this casual, because they don't want to get, they don't want to get hurt. I'm seeing the three of swords in my head. Yeah, they're afraid of commitment. 
we have two 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 stop worrying everything is working out as it is supposed to and that is wonderful okay confirmation that just you know chill stand on this beautiful light energy that you are in you are picking up on this person's energy and this person is also realizing okay that they don't need to fret too much about that heartbreak that three of swords that i was saying okay that everything will work out that you know regardless of how things might look right now everything will work out as it is supposed to for the highest good we have 999 time to finish something completion unlocks the next level for you and it's actually come under this um, opportunities what I'm getting here okay as I say for some of you your person could have chosen another person okay but there was something that they needed to learn that's why they did this um, but for others of you it's closing out of an old cycle it could be a toxic thought pattern your person could be somebody okay who has always really been a bit of a player in the past and it could be closing that cycle but there is definitely something that needs to be unlocked here okay to complete the cycle to um, have this union with you Believe in your inner magic, beautiful, this person's having more faith in themselves, although this I don't deserve you has come out, I do feel they're working on that, your beautiful light is a guide to them in regards to their self-worth and they're having faith in their own inner magic. Travel is on the cards for you, spiritual and physical, so this, you know, you could be at a distance from this person, okay, to come under this union and the casual, perhaps that's another thing that is making your person think, you know, how can we practically make this work? This is also about a spiritual journey as well. And perhaps you are on a spiritual journey with this person. This person's having some sort of spiritual awakening and realising that feelings matter is what I get. Nobody does you like you. Stay authentic. Your person is highly attracted to your light energy. Like I was saying, the luminosity. You're extremely attractive to this person. But it is how authentic you are it's how natural you are you don't put on a show and a front for everyone you're just you and you naturally draw people around you because of your wonderful energy we do have grief guilt fears illusion and ego your person could be struggling with these at this time okay um like i say for many of them they've not revealed their true feelings they've tried to keep this casual when they know it's not really casual is what i get here okay and that has triggered something definitely within them this is also speaking about the fears that they are experiencing right now in regards to this love in regards to whether they are worth it your smile haunts me this person could be looking a lot at your pictures okay but it's your energy you know your smile lights up the room kind of thing okay that luminosity you bring we have new love with old person so this is you know i do feel this person does have love with you for many of you, you could be in separation it could even be someone who you've known um many years ago okay who is coming back here is what i get but they're coming in with some sort of a new offer after completing an old cycle here i know i hurt you i'm so sorry this person acknowledges that they have hurt you, that they have perhaps caused you that three of swords, okay, that three of swords that they're very fearful. For some of you, okay, it's the fact that they caused you that three of swords that is causing them to now hesitate coming towards you because are you going to accept them into your life? You've got it going on. You are this beautiful light energy and perhaps they have been somebody who has caused you a lot of pain. I understand we are spiritually connected wow definitely this person is you know we've got this travel here as well with spiritual and physical travel and i do feel that this could be a journey for you and your person this person is understanding that you are spiritually connected that's really really wow okay so this luminosity like i say it speaks about light at the end of the tunnel it speaks about unfoldment it speaks about your magical own inner healing work i also feel it's going to be a very abundant time coming in for you as well that's indicated here we do have lots of flowers here so lots of growth occurring even if it's not obvious these lemons here okay is making me think of that saying you know make um when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, okay? Feel you're somebody who makes the best of maybe not a great situation. This person really loves that about you. We also have the card freedom here. We have peace at last. And we have blessings and miracles. Beautiful. So this tells me, okay, there is hope in this situation. Your person is going to free themselves from whatever it is that's holding them back. This need to keep things casual comes from somewhere. I feel they're going to go deep within themselves to free themselves from that limiting belief. We do have peace at last. There's going to be peace in the situation, okay? This beautiful blessing is coming in for you. These blessings and miracles are on their way. 
that feather okay indicates perhaps your angels are around you at this time okay um you could be receiving signs from the universe as well here but i do feel communication is coming in from your person okay um perhaps letting you know a little bit about what's going on for them i don't feel this is someone who's going to open up straight away though okay they are probably still going to be sort of in that knight of wands energy is what i'm picking up quite passionate communication towards you and i feel it's coming in quick quite quickly as well because i'm seeing the eight of wands in my head now but there is still that element of wanting to keep it um casual and see how this goes okay and this is their own fears and doubts but i feel ultimately okay they are going to open up to you slowly but surely and you could very well have known this person for a very long time okay and they are going to return with this new love offer for you group number three so that's been your reading i hope it's been helpful please let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you and your situation and if you want to give a like, share, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. And I shall see you in another reading. Take care. Bye.